The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome back once again. Real People, Real Life from Wichita, Kansas, America. 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 How's everybody doing? Excellent. Excellent. Joey, Excellent. what's going on? Not much. We had a nice, smooth and easy weekend, kind yeah. of relaxing around the house. You know, right on. Just so got the... Got the yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, what we're I think do it was a that. no shave November, and now we're going into a pre hairy well, February. Then we wanted to like December. <laughs> furry February. Yeah, furry February. Just, February. I think okay. it might be no February, shave yeah. forever. Oh, I'm not sure. Forever like February. Yeah. You know, I want to have a contest that is the best mustaches and beards. I think yeah. Please last. don't start that. Oh, I think it sounds like fun. Oh, Foster, You know, these, these twisty you, things that come out great. like Yosemite Sam. I think they're hilarious. That's what we're going to be seeing. I, I'm yeah. going to say it's not Poke me in my eye for Mustache here. Mustache wax. Over there. Oh, oh, I know, right? Boy, boy, you know boy. what they used to use in the olden days? <laughs> I don't yeah. want to know. I don't want to talk about okay, it. That's okay, that's good. Okay, Joe couldn't be here today. Um, he's uh, dealing with his friends at the city. They have such a unique relationship. Don't they? Yeah. They just get along so well, don't they not? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it, it, and you know they cool. love to have conversations with them. Oh, no, I, they they do. I, I seriously doubt that to be true in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I would right? not well, want to be on that side of the Joe. fence Woo. from Joe. Uh -uh. We miss you, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm doing fantastic. Okay. I got to use, I signed up for Medicare Advantage in 19 to, for 2015. That yeah. gives me... Uh, uh, membership is what's called Silver Sneakers. That means I can go to practically any gym in America, sign in, and boom, I can use all the equipment for free. No, I like that. <sighs> silver Sneakers. So I got to work out Sunday morning. It was wonderful. There at the gym, they have nice TVs, stereo, you know, and it all works. It was beautiful. Dude! Yeah, it was big. Yeah. 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 Well, how was your weekend, Fossa? Wonderful. I had a quiet weekend. I, I rather too. enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah I know, right? Really Caught quiet. up on some Z's. Yeah, yeah. I got into my heat. Needed it after the holidays. Time. Yeah, it was just kind of a, you know, crash back and get caught up. And it was. It's been, it's been crazy. I am really happy right now that we're all seated here in Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas, yeah. Um, because... It's really exciting in our state <laughs> capital right now. Um, we've been sitting here laughing, and I'm sorry. I know we shouldn't. Um, but if you know me... Uh, I hear there's some interesting <laughs> bill. There's some interesting bill laugh. being introduced. Into people. Well, if you know me, uh, I am certainly uh, not a uh, brownback fan, to put it mildly. So uh, this just came across, uh, and uh, I'm going to pick this up from Cake TV 10. And it's also been picked up by the Associated Press. Yeah. Uh, Brownback says, okay. Oh, God. If I could just, oh, God. Brownback <laughs> says the solutions <laughs> to the state's woes are cultural and moral. Moral? Is that right? Oh, yeah. Mm. Um. Oh, you well, guys have no idea. Some say it was useful. immoral for him to give tax cuts to the uber wealthy. So, so does, it, does this mean that we are it, morally turped? Like the moral, moral turpitude is yeah, right? Well, he may here's be a, here's the, the funny part. We are, okay. God, um, yeah. for lack of a, a, a we are um, not sitting in a very pretty place when it comes to the budget for our state right now. That's true. Okay? And I will just advise you if you would like to... Um, uh, go and see this entire interview and what he says, but I am going to use his quotes here. Um, mm -hmm. Go to my Facebook page. Uh, it's Robin, R-O-B-I-N, middle initial R, last name Lace, L-A-I-S. And I have the cake uh, link up here. And again, like mm -hmm. I said, this was picked up nationally through the, uh, uh, and I just love it when that happens. So I'm only going to take one quote um, so that I don't get in too much trouble here. Um, Brownback <laughs> says, solutions to problems facing the state are principally cultural and moral, not as dictated by government, but, quotes, emitting from our hearts alive with a loving God, end quote. Mm. 
you, sir, are under federal investigation like there is no tomorrow, and you really need to learn to keep your mouth shut. Okay, back to other Topeka no, business. Not our governor. Once it's picked yeah. up, though, like That's that, you can't governor. take that foot back out of your mouth, can you? Uh, yeah, and, 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 no, you he's just gonna can't. be sneezing shoelaces. Right? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and I, I did not go to, obviously, I mean, why would he invite me? Um, I did not go to the inaugural ball that was just here a few days back. Uh, mm-hmm. I had a girlfriend there. She, she got invited, of course. Um, you know, but we don't play on the same playing field. Um, anyway, whatever. Um, I, I like her personally. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, but She just has different circles. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, anyway. But the f- cool thing going on Topeka today, mm-hmm. right on Gail Finney, right on Gail Finney. Gail, okay, Representative Gail Finney. Love her. She, like 38 minutes ago, God, I love this woman. Excuse me, 51 minutes ago. Um, House Bill 2011, the Cannabis Compassionate Care Act, mm. was just officially pre-filed and read in the Kansas House of Representatives by Rep- uh, by Representative Gail Finney. Thank you, Gail. Rock on, Gail. Thank um, you, Gail. We do have um, a gathering uh, this Thursday at the Topeka Capitol um, in the inside, yay, thank God, inside <laughs> yeah. in the rotunda, okay? And you need to enter from the north side. Uh, parking is about two blocks away. So yeah, this is going to be like a, um, a little trip to get there. But we, it, this is not a hearing of any of the bills. This is just a, showing our support. And from what I understand, from everybody that I've been able to get back and forth with, mm-hmm. there's actually two cannabis bills. Um, oh. Gail Finney has one, which is House Bill 2011, and then Haley uh, has another bill, which would be SB9. This is the Senate. Yeah, th- okay. yeah. And then there's a third bill. Now, this is actually in the agricultural side, and that is a hemp bill. Oh. Okay. So we have two cannabis. Um, one of them is more of a compassionate care medical only. SB9, um, I have a little bit more familiar with that one, is more of a overall. Open not. it up. Oh, yeah. Open this up and let's go grow this stuff. And then you got the hemp bill, and I don't have enough knowledge to really go much into the hemp bill and what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. But I, I think it's interesting that here we are, the first week into, you know, the political yeah. season, you know, and um, Already. our governor is over here going, do, 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 you know, and he's just completely bonkers. Um, yes, I said you're bonkers. Okay, and then we Watch. have we have it's gonna we happen have Finney, again, Robin. We have Haley. We have these other people. Oh, you know, man. Oh, man, does this mean they're gonna start watching me again? God, I hate that. Anyway, um, that so it's gonna be interesting. Door? I know, I know. God, that means that means it's gonna be those, here. those big, big. Are we gonna get suburbans. invaded by jackbooted thugs? I, hey, you know it happened to me once already. Yeah. You know, oh, so man. that was hilarious. I you better know. practice my interlacing the fingers right. and laying yeah. on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember. It was during the summer, and uh, <laughs> you know, because I, I, I kind of don't have much nice to say about Brownback, and I'm sorry. I'm really, You're I actually using his name. I'm impressed. I the, usually have side names nicknames. and nicknames, yeah, but yeah. you know, and I have Terms some for uh, endearment. <laughs> <laughs> I have some nicknames for Pompeo too, uh, <laughs> Mr. Pompeini. Anyway. That's a lot funner to work with. I mean, not really. They're both great. <laughs> To work Palm with Pain. to work with this those gentlemen? Oh, I would never work with this gentlemen. For nicknames. Oh, yeah. nicknames. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nicknames. They just oh, seem to fall right into For it, terms huh? of endearment. I have some great <laughs> nicknames that I've come up with yeah. over over the course of, of the last couple of years with a few of those folks. Um but I think it was really funny. I mean we've had you know we've had mm-hmm. uh Todd T. Hart on, and you yes. know, we have Ben last week, and of course Loved we've had Aletha wife. on, and we've had some yeah. really great, you know, political folks on. We've had yeah. Keen on, and, yeah. and other folks. Love Keen. Um, love Keen. But um, I think it's well, it it's one been. thing mm-hmm. to see the whole political process uh, as a taxpayer watching, you know, mm-hmm. because we, we we don't get to see everything. No. Okay, no. believe me, Definitely we don't. Not. Okay, no. they. And yeah. No offense to our great folks here at Great Plains TV, because. Fortunately, they don't make me put duct tape on very often. Um, yay! Um, and well, and they, got a they big always box make sure. Right there, I know, and they always make sure that they put that this show is property of. <laughs> so if anything goes bad, I'm the one in trouble. Yeah. Right. Anyway, um, but I, I think that there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Okay. And, sausage um, making, they call it. Yeah. Sausage making. Um, <laughs> that we just don't get to see as regular, you know, working folks. But um, there was several times when I when I talk about security and. Uh, big guys and um, I mean they're as big as one of our guests that's going to be on today but um, I'll never forget that man I, 
I had to get up. I couldn't take it anymore. Um, Pompeo was up there talking Pompeii me. Blah, 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 You know, and I'm just going, Ugh, you know. I mean, one of those times where you just want your head to explode because you can't take it. And I'm like, excuse me, I really got to go outside. And so I got up, and there was two exits to that room. And I have met his folks before, his security. Mm -hmm. Several times. Okay, so they see me get up, go out that door. They're racing to the other door. And all I want to do is go to the ladies' room, but I have to go past them first. And it's a hall. And there's one here, and there's one here, and I'm supposed to slide through the middle. I'm like, oh, this will be fun. Yeah. I am going to the ladies' room, and I don't need help. And that's basically <laughs> what I did. So, you know, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. Yeah. I think John Todd, or we've had John Todd on too. Mm -hmm. um, Todd T. Hart. These guys can tell you stories, and I'm not going to go there. Mm -hmm. um, but I am going to say that a lot of stuff goes on, and we never really see it. So um, when somebody tells you, uh, contact your representatives. When somebody tells you to um, get involved, get involved, vote, vote. The reason that we we say these things is because there's a good chance we may not be able to tell you everything we know. Mm -hmm. But there are things that we do know, and it is important to stand up. It is important. Absolutely. If we don't, and that's the whole reason for the show, real people, real life, we want real people to come in here and talk to us about real life, and you all know I don't have a problem chit-chatting. No. Mm -hmm. And we know a few politicians that know I don't have a problem chit-chatting. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, we've got a great show today. We do. I had to give... A big hoorah to uh, House Bill 2011, the Cannabis Compassionate Care Act. Finally, uh, again. Again, again. We'll be there just, Thursday, yeah. so if anybody we're wants to be join there. us. Yep, we're going to be there. I do, I do hope to see a lot of support. Again, this is not a hearing. Um, I've been up there several times, and, 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 and this is not a hearing. This is just to show support. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. You know, you'll need to enter on the north side of the state capitol building. Uh, and you are fortunate enough, this one's inside, in the rotunda, okay, and it will be from 1 to 3.30. I do expect uh, to see a lot of press at this particular event. I know that there's going to be people coming from the Missouri side that are going to be covering this, and uh, I would not be surprised um, if we don't pull some national news on this one. Because I know when I get home tonight, I'm going to be screaming like a banshee. Great. Calling everybody I know. Please be there. Please be there. Anyway, so we've got, this goes back to being involved. And I am thrilled to death that one of our guests today is, our, our main topic guest is Juanita Ridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Juanita Ridge does have a Facebook account. So we're going to be getting to her in just a minute. And we have some additional guests. Tracy Carr, his brother Antoine from WSU and the NBA will be joining us along with... Crystal Mason. Crystal Mason. Yes. And Pat. Pat Posh. Yep. They'll be here too. We'll be right back. Real people, real life. Real people, real life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best kept secret. Credit King Auto Sales, the biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. The King's Quarter, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of low down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problem with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Go CreditKing.com. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road.
Welcome back once again, real people, real life. <sighs> Juanita! Yes, Thank darling. you, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us. As promised, we have Juanita Ridge with us today, and I'm just gonna let her tell it like it is. Okay. I can't wait, bring it on. All right, well, uh, most people probably still remember me as Blackman, Juanita Blackman, but um, I've been around in Wichita for pretty much all of my life. I'm a uh, resident of the city of Wichita. I'm dedicated mother and community advocate. Mm -hmm. Um, most people don't know, but I was a hit back in 1997 by two drunk drivers in one year. Oh my God. Yeah. And so, uh, I said, Lord, I don't know what it is you want me to do, but whatever it is, I'm down. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Cause that, obviously you're supposed to be here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. That's how all my work began, uh, was back in, uh, from that accident, yeah. I started Positive Youth, Making a Difference. You guys probably remember about the 21st mm -hmm. Street cleanup. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, from that, I got to meet the president, um, and got all kind of awards. Uh, and then from that, I've just started a lot of pilot programs. You uh, have got a lot that you do. Yeah. Uh, I'm the one who's probably donated over, I'm gonna say now it's over probably about 30, f anywhere from 30 to 50,000 hours. Uh, to my community. Oh, I would believe wow. that. So I am what you would consider an asset, mm -hmm. but treated like a liability. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And I don't go well for that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can I can we, I can agree with that one because yeah. obviously you saw how much fun I was having yes. in the first part. So yeah, you can definitely use it. Go ahead. Yeah. Asset. Funny that. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what we talked about on the break, but his name just you know I swear he just leaves us anyway a film mm -hmm. he does mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. go ahead and keep going huh? okay <laughs> um well from positive youth making a difference the 21st street cleanup I started mm -hmm. the concerned citizens prison review board and yeah. we held one of the first town hall meetings in the community bringing the wardens from the prison wow. to the community really yeah it was at Bible uh, way Baptist Church uh, and let's see, I'll have to remember what year there was. I think it was 1999. Okay. And so that was a way for all of the families that wanted to have their answers or questions mm -hmm. presented to the wardens. That was an opportunity then for that to happen. That is and awesome. uh, Warden Bruce was in office. Well, he was uh, the warden at the time, and then Sam Klein. Oh, okay. So, um, so now, I mean, I'm. I've gone, that was the pilot project then, and then I did the Sister Girl Book Club. Mm -hmm. That was a program designed for after school and working to close the achievement gap here in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the public schools. Right. Um, from that, the Boys Book Club. I'm, one of the things is, is that we constantly talk about the uh, African American children's uh, achievement record, right. which has not always been good. But then if we don't implement programs, mm -hmm. you know, to complement that, then it just looks like we're just touting negative statistics. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, they present the problem, I come up you with a solution. Hello. Yeah. I love that, I like that. So I'm been th I've been that loud voice mm -hmm. uh, advocating for families for decades. Wow, yeah. you know, when we talked on the phone um, recently, well, here the other day, last night, um, and you were telling me some of the things that you do. Um, you know, it's probably been probably four years last time I went to the Hutch prison. Mm -hmm. And um, the warden there was very kind, very nice to me. Um, of course, you have to be, um, you have to have a KBI background check mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. and all this. And, and I was asked to go and I brought, um, at the time it was um, a local TV uh, news station wanted to follow me. And we were um, doing some stuff for a Christian based group um uh freedom challenge okay yeah. and um I, I remember my cameraman bless his heart i mean he was just shaking <laughs> his, his bag you know he's got a big camera bag he's just like this whole thing's shaking yeah. you know and i'm like it's okay calm down you know yeah. we're all people here you know and he was just petrified okay mm -hmm. and i'm like well my first rodeo we're gonna be okay um and then yeah, what if we get locked down i'm like calm down <laughs> seriously dude. seriously calm down and it, i don't think until you physically been in, in a prison, mm -hmm. and I've been in uh, the one up in uh, Manhattan, is it Manhattan Lawrence? What's the one, uh, our big federal one? Lansing. Lansing. Mm -hmm. Now that one, yeah. that's a little spooky. 
Hutchison, I didn't, you know, Eldorado, whatever. But I would go there and I would talk to inmates, and some of them were lifers. You know, they have committed, you know, um, murder. Some of them, several murders. But they're there. Mm-hmm. They're not going to get out. Right. You know? um, and they'll tell me, and they'll sit down and they'll talk with you, and they'll, and they'll, they'll get you to understand this probably isn't the way to go, what I did. You know, so I've interviewed um, different Mostly, I have, not, I have not had the opportunity to get into the women's prison yet, although that was offered. Mm-hmm. But it's mostly been in the, on the men's side. Um, I can get you in there. Well, then get me in there because <laughs> I want to do it. Yeah. But yeah. I, brown I, back I, gets I, you in pretty quick. Yeah, I was going to say, brown <laughs> back may send me there tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, WPD. I know, right? Oh, God. Yeah, they're going to be waiting when I walk out the door. But I, 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 that, that was the thing that I appreciated about Freedom Challenge was the fact that even if you were a lifer, Okay, and you're not going anywhere, mm-hmm. or you're going to be coming out in a little bit. They had a program that they sat down and they worked with um, the inmates mm-hmm. at all different levels. Right. And it was it was amazing. So here I am sitting in a room, okay, probably about half the size of this room. Um, there is no uh, guards whatsoever. There was a, a lady, uh, oh gosh, she was probably 70 years old, um, and she was with another church group. There's me, there's her, and there's a row of chairs, okay, and it's all these gentlemen lined up for me to interview. Mm-hmm. And the camera guy is just, <laughs> and I'm over here going. He's dropping the camera. I know, he's, yeah, he's having a, a heck of a time. But I do I see think our that, cameraman shaking. Just I, yeah, I don't even want to go there. I don't want to go there. But I think that it takes a strong person, Juanita, and that's mm-hmm. why I really wanted you to be here, mm-hmm. because it takes a strong person to go and talk to these people and, and try to... To, to, to somehow bring it to a reality level that people can understand, and that's mm-hmm. tough. Yeah. So tell me more about what you've done, but I, that was something that when we talked, I just was like this immediate, mm-hmm. I can't wait to see you. Well, when you uh, talk about Hutchison, uh, I did an 11-month program there at Hutchison on domestic violence and a gang prevention program. Really? Yeah, because when we talk about taking gang members off the street, mm-hmm. that's where mm-hmm. they're at mm-hmm. uh, in full complex yep. right there in the prison system mm-hmm. and those problems aren't going anywhere mm-hmm. they just begin to multiply mm-hmm. right and then when they're not addressed inside the prison they come right back out mm-hmm. and then we encounter them right so I've uh, been you know during the Ferguson meeting I proposed a gang prevention program mm-hmm. uh, gang prevention courts yeah you know because we have too many young people coming up and mm-hmm. they're imitating and uh, emulating these same behaviors and we have to be more about you know finding solutions I agree than just locking away the problem right. and I think that we've rotated in that incarceration spirit for way too long right I think it's proved itself that it doesn't work yeah right it doesn't and but the sad thing is that we have people who have the ability they have the resources and they are our leaders they're not listening. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They would rather have gang free Wichita than to support a, a nationwide program that I started, Healing the Brotherhood Campaign. Really? Yeah, to encourage young men to be stronger, mm-hmm. wiser, yeah. much better. Let love lead the way. Thank you. Let the healing begin. I mean, you can't <laughs> keep bringing awesome. out the worst in people and expecting the best. Well, if that's, that's all right. that we ever see is the oh, worst yeah. of people, then what else are we going to expect? Exactly. You know, so well, they've turned prisons into a big business, too. So uh, yeah, Right. Mean, it's, it's, a, it's a money racket. Uh, it definitely is a money racket, and uh, it's going to take people like everyone here today and the, the listening audience out mm-hmm. there to begin to uh, write our legislators. Right. Uh, if we got to fax them, if we got to send postcards. Mm-hmm. Anything. Let them know. Mm-hmm. We mean business, you know, and I'm that person that will show up at your door with my uh, bullhorn. <laughs> oh, Juanita, right on. You... Don't kidnap my baby, okay? okay exactly. I'll come and get you. <laughs> you know, we, we had some people on when we were talking about parental alienation. Yeah. Um, and I was shocked at um, how horrible that problem is that we have here. Oh, man. I mean, we could. I could go from one topic to the next about the levels of injustice Mm -hmm. going on in our community. And that's, I mean, the police should know by now that I'm not intimidated, you know. I can leave here today and they'll be trying to, you know, pull me over. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna fight you in court. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I will file lawsuits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like to, Yeah, but I will. 
There you go. <laughs> I, I, you know, and, and this is the truth, and I had uh, just this morning, um, it came across my Facebook feed, and it's an, a, a young mother, and innocently, in her thought, you know, she put up a picture of her child, who's two years old or so, in diapers, mm-hmm. okay? And I'm like, <laughs> Because what? of the show that we did on parental uh-huh. alienation right. and the fact that, you know, I have I have a hard time believing media, let alone, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well, people like Brownback. Um, I have a hard time believing some of this. So I see these pictures and I'm like, oh, my God. And I, I get a hold of her and I'm like, please take those pictures off your Facebook. Mm-hmm. Okay, because there are people out there that work for the government mm-hmm. at different levels and they'll go, see, you're making your child accessible to child pornography mm-hmm. by putting these pictures out here right we now therefore have the right to come and check your house out yeah agree what? it's a conscious yeah. thought yeah it's after. true so mm-hmm. it's kind of fascist kind of <laughs> it's, it's extremely fascist, fascist. <laughs> are we are we, are they, are we well, in like, if, but yeah. if you're in if you the mid-30s yeah. in austria or germany what? that's what it feels yeah. like to some See, people you're just now hearing about it but you got people mm-hmm. that meet on a daily basis and they're discussing this kind of stuff so mm-hmm. in their mind they're in they're intense in that level of uh ish, that level of yeah mm-hmm. concern about our children yeah so that Control. and you know that that was hard for me this morning because you know oh, yeah. and 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 it's true i mean i i can remember a picture of me that my mom and dad took you know while i'm not 52 when i was a little baby sitting up in the bathtub it Same was a blue here. bathtub you know, yeah. and I yeah. remember, you know, I think I was in probably high school, and my mom was like, "Look at little Robin when she Isn't was that a baby." What you're supposed like, to do as a parent, <sighs> embarrass yeah. your kids with the baby. Pictures? And so she, you know, right. my mom embarrassed me with baby pictures, and and so the young mother this morning was like, you know, but I remember, and I'm like, I don't care. Facebook wasn't around then. Yeah. Facebook technology was is not powerful. around that. You know, that reminds me of this new video that Shia LaBeouf just made. Like it has got all the pedophiles just lit up because he wore a flesh tone, like, garment in this ring with a 12 year old little girl wearing a flesh tone garment and they're doing this oh, monkey dance like she's a, a wolf and he's supposed to be emanating a, a monkey and and they're doing this and it's to that song elastic hearts or something i don't know if you guys seen it but it's got the it's got the pedophile groups that you know protect children yeah. like lit up and lit i mean up. i understand art i see art i understand their concern i see a concern mm-hmm. i you know it's just i'm torn as well so but yeah, that's what that. Reminds Freaks me are going to find their way to get their freak on, no matter no matter what. what. They do. True. No matter yeah. what. True. 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 But oh, yeah. uh, but I I I want to get to new mothers. Back to new mothers okay. because we have a lot of single mothers. Mm-hmm. I was a single mother my entire life. Okay, it is not easy, and I never oh, got no. a dime of child support. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm okay? a single mother now. It doing me. it. Yeah. Oh, See, so you mm-hmm. know too. So when I saw this single mother. The last thing she needs is trouble. Right. And sometimes something as silly as putting a picture of your child in diapers up could cost you everything, yeah. including the ability to have your daughter. Yeah. That's just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, that's what is happening. Okay. Yeah, going. it really is. And when you talk about single moms, that's kind of like how I started. I started the Millennium Moms Empowerment Network. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was focused on helping single mothers because it is an enormous burden to encounter. Oh, you know, I know. Single mother. No kidding. I, we're going to have you right back on okay. you. Okay. We're not yeah. done. Real people, real life. Real people, real life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hi, I'm Samantha. And I'm Mike. I'm Domingo. With Economy Motors. Tax time is right around the corner, and we're here ready to help you with your transportation needs. We offer a wide variety of quality vehicles priced $12,995 and under with easy approval and easy terms. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Your job is your credit at Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway, where we've got your back. Economy Motors! At Economy Motors, we got your back.
Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine Day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer Day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and Imports, open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road.